2018 Mercedes-AMG GTC Coupe debuts. Mercedes-AMG unveils a GTC Coupe alongside the facelifted GT and GTS. The fruitful partnership between Mercedes-Benz and AMG started 50 years ago this year, and to celebrate the occasion, they have developed a new model, the 2018 Mercedes-AMG GTC Coupe which made its debut at the 2017 Detroit Auto Show alongside the revised 2018 GT and GTS Coupes. The new addition to the AMG GT lineup sits above the base GT and the GTS and just below the wild, winged AMG GTR not surprisingly, it mirrors powertrain specs, styling, and equipment levels of the AMG GTC Roadster that debuted two months ago at the 2016 Leaders. A. Auto Show. With 550 horsepower and 502 pounds to foot of torque, its twin turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 is more powerful than the revised unit in the standard AMG GT, 469 horsepower and 465 pounds to foot, up by 13 horsepower and 22 pounds to foot from 2016, as well as the AMG GTS. 515 horsepower and 494 pounds to foot, increases of 12 horsepower and 15 pounds to foot. The mighty AMG GTR remains comfortably at the top of the heap with 577 horsepower and 516 pounds to foot. The GTC also features AMG's performance exhaust system and dynamic engine mounts, as well as increased front wheel negative camber. Compared with its lesser brethren, the GTC has wider wheels, and its rear fenders are widened by 2.2 inches. There's also a sport suspension, four-wheel steering, adaptive dampers, and larger front brakes. As with the Roadster, the coupe wears staggered width rubber, 265-35R19 front and 305-30R20 in back. An additional, more aggressive race mode and revised gearing for the 7-speed dual-clutch transmission round out the mechanical highlights for the GTC Coupe. The GTC's wider body looks even more badass than the standard GT and GTS models, all of which will now sync up with the styling of the Roadsters, which debuted the new AMG Panamericana grille. Mercedes didn't provide pricing for any of its new or revised GT models, but it did provide performance estimates. The GT, GTS, GTC and GTR models allegedly are able to hit 60 miles per hour in 3.9, 3.7, 3.6, and 3.5 seconds, respectively, with top speeds of 189, 193, 197, and 198 miles per hour. The GT and GTC ragtops lose 1 mile per hour at the top end compared with their coupe counterparts. The AMG GTC will launch with a special model dubbed Edition 50, in matte graphite grey magna with black chrome trim and wheels. Its interior features black and grey leather with quilted upholstery and micro suede wrapping the steering wheel. The Edition 50 will be offered as both a Roadster and a coupe in quantities of, yes, 50 each. The GTR will be the first of the revised coupes to arrive, reaching dealerships by late summer, with the GTC and the rest of the model lineup arriving sometime in the fall. Does Mercedes-AMG really need to offer six variants of its GT sports car? Well, does Porsche really need to offer 19 variations of its 911 Carrera? Of course not. But we're not going to be the ones to tell either of them to stop.